Hello everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be really short, um, but it is something I find important. As Black Friday comes up, a lot of people have been looking to just buy stuff, and that's good, that's obviously what Black Friday is for. But there is something a lot of people make a mistake of, and that is overspending on stuff specifically having to do with nitrotype and typing and stuff. For instance, if you were maybe looking to get a keyboard, I don't know, a lot of people look for deals on Black Friday. That's I got my mechanical keyboard for a really good deal. It's typically $100. I got it for $90. I had a, like a $30 Amazon gift card. I only had to pay $60 for it. Do not overspend and buy like a $300 Corsair or Razer keyboard. There are a lot of good quality keyboards out there for not that much money. Um, obviously for some of you, like $300 may be normal. Maybe $300 may sound stupid expensive. Like, I'm 15. I earn money. $300 is stupid expensive for a keyboard, believe me. So please, don't ever spend on keyboards. I recommend going to some YouTubers, finding out what they have to say. You know, there are obviously some really good keyboards out there. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to touch on, because I know around the holidays people start looking for stuff to put on their Christmas wish list and Black Friday and stuff like that. Please don't ever spend on keyboards. Another thing you don't want to overspend on is your gold membership. Uh, Natural Type probably won't do a Black Friday sale on this, but in case they do, here's something you need to know. Don't buy the most expensive plan if you don't need to. You can always race to earn cash, and um, just, just if you really want gold membership for a good price, just get the cheapest basic membership. They all have the same benefits, it's just one of them gives you more money than the other, which you can earn by racing anyway. So just get the cheapest gold membership if they do have a Black Friday sale on that. Uh, another thing, and this is more f serious, if you're looking to buy a new computer, maybe you're racing on like an old Chromebook or something and you want to upgrade, first of all, if you're going to get a computer and you want to do anything on it besides basic, you know, media browsing, stuff like that, maybe doing some racing, light gaming, do not get a Chromebook. Because Chromebooks, although they are fantastic for like schoolwork or maybe watching YouTube or racing, if you want to ever make videos or ever do any serious gaming, Chrome OS is awful for that sort of stuff because it's incompatible with so much stuff. Spend like a 50 to to $100 more to get a Windows computer or a Mac even. If you actually Macs, you're not gonna, you're not gonna find a good budget Mac. Please don't get a MacBook that's old. Those things aren't greatest when they're old. Um, get a newer one. Leading us to our final subject for today's video, don't overspend on getting a nice computer just to play Nitrotype. I know you like seeing those crazy high frame rates, seeing really smooth graphics and stuff. I'm going to get a gaming laptop soon. It's not going to be just for Nitrotype. I'm going to edit videos, I'm going to edit sound, I'm going to uh, do graphic design on it, I'm going to do video games on it. Nitrotype is just going to be something I do on it. It's not going to be my primary thing. It never really has been my primary thing. So please, if you're looking to get a nice computer, find something else to do with it besides just playing Nitrotype. And if you want to make videos with a computer, you don't need a crazy powerful computer. Um, for those of you who know what I'm talking about in terms of computer specs, you don't need like an 8-core CPU and like a dedicated GPU to make videos about Nitrotype. All you need is a modern computer with at least 4 cores on the CPU. And I recommend if you're not going to get a laptop with a dedicated graphics card, get a laptop with an AMD CPU because those integrated graphics are much better, meaning you're actually going to be able to do some light gaming on it and maybe even some video editing, whereas Intel, their CPUs are great, don't get me wrong, they always have been great, um, they probably always will be great, but their integrated graphics just really aren't very good, meaning, and like, if you don't have a graphics processor, obviously you're not going to be able to do anything because you won't get an image. Basically, your graphics processor is what processes the graphics. It's not just your CPU, it's not just your RAM, and I'll touch on RAM in a second. Your CPU does the logic. Your GPU does the, the graphics processing. The CPU directs the GPU. It's kind of in charge of everything, but it cannot physically process graphics. It's not built for that. I mean, it probably could do a little bit, but it's so not optimized for it that it will not be able to do it efficiently. So, if you're going to get a laptop, and I mean, Intel integrated graphics is going to be fine for Nitrotype and stuff like that, but if you want to ever do any video editing, video recording, AMD CPUs are good because they're more power efficient, they're just as powerful as Intel ones, they don't have to clock higher, so you might see clock speeds and stuff, um, by that I mean just how many cycles, how many calculations it can do per minute, or per second I guess. Do not judge a CPU based on its clock speed, because, and it'd be 
an AMD CPU, like the most modern AMD CPU at 5 gigahertz, actually no, none of it can get to 5 gigahertz, at 4 gigahertz can outperform an Intel CPU going at like 4, going at like 4.3, 4.4 gigahertz, it's just because they're built differently. Another thing, RAM, you don't, more RAM doesn't mean faster, more RAM means you have more capacity, the speed of the RAM is what is important, so please do some research on that, I'm not explaining that in this video because that would be way off topic for this channel typically is. But yes, do not overspend on a computer. Um, that is just something you need to know. Do some research. Don't just like look up gaming laptop and get the first one that pops up. You will regret it. Um, other than that, I really don't know what else to say. Today was just kind of a rambling video. But yeah, don't overspend on computer hardware or anything else you're going to use for typing. It is a mistake. It is something that you will end up regretting. So do your research. Make sure you know what you're doing. If you have any questions, uh, direct message me on Discord. I know a lot about technology and I can help you out. Uh, Star Wars Freak, also known as Love Life, also knows his stuff. So if he's fine with it, and I'm not speaking on behalf of him, because I'm not sure if he's fine with you DMing him, but uh, I can ask him. Uh, but he also knows a lot about what uh, technology. He, he's, he's very good with technology. So spe specifically with software. I'm not very good with software. He's, he's pretty good with software. So if you have any software questions, ask him. Any hardware questions, ask me or him, because he also knows his hardware. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, it'd be great if you could like the video. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It always helps. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Have a fantastic day.